All right, kids, as you've probably been told, I'm not a very easy teacher. I love homework. I don't believe in homework. Ah! Am I supposed to read all of this? Do you think we're really gonna get this done tonight? Yeah, it looks easy. What is the average length of a piece of rice? When, when do I need to know this? Hi guys, it's Jordan. <laughs> and today, we're gonna be showing you 12 types of homework. <laughs> so it's back to school season. We've already been in school for a little while, so I thought I'd share with you the 12 different types of homework you can get in school because this is my last year of high school. What? I'm a senior. What in the world? And so I've experienced every single one of these homeworks. The first type of homework is the time waster, you guys. This homework always comes around at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year. And it's always either crossword puzzles or like riddles or something weird like that. And it literally has no educational value. You're just doing it to waste time and it bugs me so much. Hey Jake, you're home. How was school? Good. Yeah, do you have homework? Yeah, just this crossword puzzle. Okay, why don't you go ahead and get it done? It's homework first. It's just a crossword puzzle. I don't want to pick too hard. Okay, let's do this. Why do I even begin? Man, this is pretty easy. I, I really want to play my video games. What's the point of doing this? Like, I'm not going to learn anything from a crossword puzzle. This probably doesn't even count on my grade. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. Number two is the drawing assignment. Oh. So I literally got this homework last week actually. And it's where the teacher says, okay, um, draw this picture and label it like with the different parts or whatever. And don't worry, you don't have to be an artist to get a good grade. I just care that you tried. But that's a total lie. Literally they'll give you extra credit if you are like an artist or something. And so that one also bugs me because then I feel like me just like trying to get all the extra credit in the world. I like spend so much time drawing this picture and then it wastes all my time. Okay, this shouldn't take too long hopefully. I'm just gonna get started right now so I can finish it. Draw the eye and then I have to label it. No, that's not. All right, I'm almost done. Now I just have to label this one's waterline. I hope I get extra credit for this. Number three is called the readathon. So this is basically when the teacher assigns everyone in the class a ginormous textbook and it's like, hey, read 53 chapters by tomorrow. <laughs> and yeah, they expect you to like memorize the book. Not a fun time. Luckily, I don't get this one that often, but I wanna know if you guys do. Comment down below and let me know. Oh my goodness. So heavy. I'm supposed to read all of this and get the recommended hours of sleep. Are you kidding me? Ah! Number four is called the test review. And this one is so tricky because you think it's gonna be easy, but no, 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 sweetie, it is not. It's like a one page little like questions, like 12 questions or something, but there's parts A, B, and C to each question. And like it takes you five hours to memorize because you finally like answer all the questions and then you have to actually study it for the test coming up. Ah, that one's not fun either. Dad, I've got some homework that we need to study. What is it? Well, I have to know this entire thing. Chemistry, the periodic table? Yeah. Wait, when did they give this to you? Today. And we have to have this all memorized tonight? Yes. Well, let's start. Okay, so do you need to know the elements like in order of like weight? Do you need to know the abbreviations? Yeah. Do you need to know how many electrons and protons they have? Jacob, this is gonna take forever. All right, helium, magnesium, phosphorus, Gold, we're not gonna get through this. Do you think we're really gonna get this done tonight? Yeah, it looks easy. It looks easy? Yeah. Oh boy, son. You've never studied chemistry before, have you? <laughs> Number five is called the copy and paste. And this one I think is hilarious because it's when the teachers go online and they just Google search like math homework and then they just <laughs> literally copy and paste the entire worksheet and give it to the class. But the thing is, most of the class like sees past that and then it, you could just Google and find the answers, but I don't do that. 
actually complete the work like a good student, but literally it's all online and so <laughs> I don't know what the teachers were thinking, honestly. Also, it's kind of plagiarism on the teacher's part, but. Okay, I'm gonna put in my, can't read that. That's too teeny, it's gotta be, it's gotta be bigger. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's perfect. I can read that. Now to give him homework, let's see. I gotta look smart, like I came up with it myself. I know, I'll Google it. This, <laughs> I'll Google it, and I'll look like the smartest teacher in the world. Whoa! Yes! I have no idea how to do this math, but it looks perfect. Copy, paste, and make 50 copies. Oh, the kids are gonna think I stayed up all night working on this. Little do they know that it just, just like that. Number six is the never-ending workload. Ah, this one is also not fun. It's when you get like so much homework that it feels like it's never gonna end and you finally finish a paper and then you go and you find out that you have like five more papers to do and then you stay up like all night doing it. Really all of these homework, it's just like you spend so much time doing the homework. But, like it's so true, honestly. All right kids, as you've probably been told, I'm not a very easy teacher. I love homework because I feel that homework is where the kids really excel and learn. So here's what you can expect over the next five days. Are you ready? You need to do an oral report with cited groupings. Okay, that's not, that's not too bad. I could do that. All right. The topic is nuclear fusion. Okay. Then I need to have you read three books to support that oral report. Each book has to be at least 200 pages long. I want you to know your topic. Then, I need you to interview somebody who has worked around nuclear fusion. An interview? I need a personal <laughs> interview. Find them, I don't care how. Then, I'm gonna do a pop quiz. It could either be Monday through Friday. Are you kidding me, a pop but quiz, it's gonna too? And the topic will be on space exploration. Okay, is that all? You might wanna read some books about that one. Just saying. Is that all? And then we've got a test on Friday. Oh it's goodness. 400 questions. It's seven, never gonna end! 70 of them are essays. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Number seven is the internet version. So this is like for all the tech savvy teachers out there who are like, oh, I'm gonna put all my homework and all the tests online. And so they go online and then they create the little worksheet and everything, but then you have to go home and you have to like either do it on your phone or like find a laptop or computer to do your work on. And if you're doing it on a phone, it's like such a squishy screen and you're like trying to type in the answers and uh, yeah, it's, I mean it works. Save the trees. Ugh, homework time, how small, I can't type it. Error has occurred. Fine, let me. I'm trying to do it on the laptop. The Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi's down. Who's running the Wi-Fi? I need it for homework. Guys, ah! I, this is due tomorrow. Number eight is the memorization list. Ooh, I feel like everyone has gotten this type of homework, especially around like fourth or fifth grade because that's when they have you memorize, if you're in the United States, that's when they have you memorize like the states and everything, or like the states and the capitals, if your teacher's extra fancy. Or I don't even know, if you're out of the US, they probably have you memorize something, honestly, like it's a list of things to memorize. Or even it could be like your spelling words, you have to memorize how to spell them. So you just sit there and you just repeat them over and over until you memorize them. Yeah. Fun fact, I still have the 50 states memorized. I have it in a song, it goes, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, do do do, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana. Mom, can you help me with the states and capitals? Okay, let's try this. <sighs> let's start with Idaho. What's the capital of Idaho? Boise. Okay, what's the what? capital of Utah? I don't know. Salt Lake City. What's the capital of Idaho? Boise. What's the capital of Wyoming? This is gonna take forever. Number nine is the useless facts homework. And this is like, <gasps> this one is also really annoying. <laughs> this one is where they literally are giving you questions that are completely pointless. It's like, what date did so-and-so invent 
blank. <laughs> and it's like, why do you need to know this? Literally, we have Google. <laughs> we could just search it and find it, honestly. And then also like for math, when when do you need to know that? Like besides, like once you get into high school and stuff and you get into like intricate math, when are you gonna use that, honestly? You ask the teachers and they're like, I don't know, honestly, if you become a teacher. What? <laughs> How many different kinds of apples are there? I don't know. Why would I ever need to know this? As long as there's enough to eat, what is the average length of a piece of rice? What? When when do I need to know this? Why? How fast does a hummer hummingbird fly? Huh. I guess that is kind of a good question. I'm gonna go Google this. Number 10 is the science fair project. And I don't know if everyone has had to do this, but let me tell you. Science fair was not a fun time. Honestly, it was kind of fun when you were doing it, but like it was really stressful. So in elementary school, my school like forced all the kids to do it, but every school it's different. Some schools you don't have to do it, it's optional. But basically, you have to create this little poster, and you have to do an experiment and like write it all down and everything. Fun fact, one of the ones that I did my science fair project on was like which bubble gum blows the best bubbles. That was a really fun one actually, but these take up a lot of time. Oh my goodness. I'm so stressed right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Why did I procrastinate? Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. We're gonna put the the, the title right here. Um, how Pokemon affects the human brain. Like that. I'm gonna need some help. Mom, I need help. Number eleven, and this one is the no homework. This is by far the best homework type because literally it means there's no homework and like the teacher just doesn't want to send you guys homework or doesn't like believe in homework or something and so you guys don't get homework for that class and literally that's the best feeling ever. I hope this teacher's nice. I hope this class is easy. I hope I survive. Hi students. Hi. I am Lucy Dwight. But you guys can call me Sally because, well, I hope that we can be friends in this class because I'm a cool teacher. Oh, now, in my class, you'll find that we get no homework. Oh. I don't believe in homework, so we're not going to be doing it. Oh. Yeah! Last but not least, the good old group project. Oh, you guys, this one is one of my least favorites as well. I really wrongly dislike group, group projects. So the reason why is because usually when we do group projects, it's pretty unfair and like one person ends up doing all the work and usually that person is me. And so I'm literally doing the entire group project by myself and then everyone else just gets all the credit for it. All right, class. In this class, I'm gonna divide you into teams. Everything is gonna be done with a group project. So this table here, you three are one group. Your topic is the solar system. I don't want to do the research. I want to write it. Are you guys kidding me? Mm -hmm. Come no. on, we got to get this project done. If we just work together, we can finish it. We can get it done really fast. I don't want to do the research. But like, let, let's just get started. How about, okay, we start with the first fact. The sun is the source of all of life. Uh, where'd, they, where'd they go? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be doing this entire thing by myself again. All right, you guys, that is the 12 different types of homework. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which is the most annoying type of homework because I want to know, honestly, they're all pretty annoying. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.